you. Welcome to the one and only Real Men Talk segment of the show, Getting Out for Male Experience with Mars. My name is Mars. I'm the one and only Real Mars 3005 on Insta and on Twitter. So follow. My name is Mars, and I am your host and the co founder of Game with Mars. And yo, fam, on this channel, you're gonna learn, you're gonna test, and you're gonna experience what it is being an alpha male. Uh, yeah, I mean, being men amongst men. So, consider subscribing down there and put the notifications so you don't miss any of these videos because there'll be coming two of them for free each and every week for you. So I don't want you to miss them and you don't want to miss them because you are getting to be the best male version of yourself. So, gentlemen, are you ready to take your boy game into a man game? Yeah? Okay, so let's dive in the man pool. <laughs> Once upon a time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure it was back in time, there was a man, his name was Steve. Steve, one late dark night, Steve was, was crossing the small bush that separates the township and the village where Steve was staying at. So Steve, as he was crossing in that small bush, on his way back to the village, he heard some sounds. Some sounds were coming out from the bush. As he tried to listen to the sound, he heard a female voice saying, Help! Help! And Steve, trying to get closer, to trying to get closer, to listen to what this voice is really saying. He had another horsey voice, but he couldn't really understand what the voice was saying. But it was a little bit horsey, and it was a little bit demanding. And Steve gets so closer, he could see that there was a man who was on top of the female, slapping her, and apparently abusing her. And Steve was like, what can I do? You could see that there's a guy, there's a female who's in danger, there's one light that is in danger. But Steve, since he was a small guy with a small body and no muscles and he haven't fought in ages, Steve was like, what can I do? What can I do? Can I go to help? What if I get in trouble? What if I try to fight this guy and what if I get into trouble and be killed? What would my family, my kids, who's going to feed my kids? Who's going to feed my... Steve was froze there in fear and thinking of what to do next. Steve, as he was standing there, his fear is still stuck in him. He's confused. He doesn't know what to do. Can I go back to the village and try to call the police? Or should I go back to the township and try to organize some help? Steve was like, nah, the time I can go there and come back, for sure it's gonna be too late. As the guy was already tearing on the lady's dress, he was already ready to rap and abuse her. Steve is like, no, nah, I have to act. I have to act now. Now is the time. Now is the time that I can save a life. It's now or never. I should do this right now. And Steve, as he started building that confidence inside of him, and then he runs over into the bush, trying to go up there. He went and tackled onto the guy, wrestled him, wrestled him, wrestled him, up and down, up and down the fort. Steve fought the guy. Steve is fighting and telling you, how could you, how could you? Until the guy, the attacker, ended up flewing away. No matter how big he was, he ran away with his big body. And Steve stands there. <sighs> Don't you ever do that again. Steve screamed out so loud. But the female, young lady, was there. Steve turned their face back to look at the lady. The lady is in the dark. His arm, he arm all closed, praying, crying to, for help, praying and hoping that God can set her free on that day, on that long dark night. So Steve went back and he's shouting. He wants to make sure that the lady is comfortable. He wants to make sure that she knows that he's there to help. He's like, yo, I'm here to help you. No, don't worry. Never fear no more. Know that nobody is ever going to do the same thing to you ever again. And Steve screamed out. The lady raised up her head. And she was sitting there on the corner in the dark. She raised up and she's like, Mary! Steve shouted out loud. And Steve, anger, crash, started coming on to Steve and said, Baby! As he hold her daughter, and seeing her daughter's face is being bruised. She'd been beaten. She'd been slept. She'd been, she was almost being abused by this heartless man. Steve looked at her, hold her closer in his arms, and he was like, I'm sorry. As he hold her lonely in his arms. Steve is confused 
and now he's, he's holding Mary and he's asking himself what was what was gonna really happen if I wasn't gonna help her this is my daughter and I thought it was another stranger I was supposed to walk away and Steve this is wrestling in his head he thanked God that he was there and he was the right person who was supposed to save the daughter on the same night so that's the end of the story Steve is holding Mary walking her home making sure that she's safe and nobody will ever hurt her ever again yes but gentlemen the point here on this story is very important the point on the story is facing your fears head on head on look at steve steve was a small guy he was afraid and all of that but he had to face his fears right on the time to at least to find out that he just saved the life of his one and only daughter so okay today i'm gonna be sharing four points with you that relates with the story that what i have learned from the story so these four points and that takes us to point number one the first point that i'm going to share with you is most of the time when we uh, when fear comes to us when we are challenged by ch challenges that we can really think we can handle the thing that we face ask ourselves is what if yeah what if so the first point is what if what if we ask ourselves what if this happens? What if I lose this? What if I lose my life? Who's gonna take care of my family? Who's gonna take care of that? Yo, man, what if? What if you win? That's the question that you must ask yourself. And stop asking yourself, what, should, what if I die? What if? Stop putting the negative on you, man. Stop making yourself the victim. What if you instead change that what if and make sure what should I do better so that I can come out there as a winner? What should I do? better so that when I come out there I'm coming back alive what should I do as a better so that when I come out there I'm gonna come out a better man so no what if is better what should I do better so stick to that alpha second point here is act with force and speed you know once you decided to take action and putting your life in line and say yeah I'm coming I'm getting this once you decided that to say that I'm going there, I'm doing this you're going to find this inner strength, you find this inner strength that should carry you along and go with you and give you strength and courage and confidence that you're going to tackle your fears no matter what. This strength gives you courage that you're going to win no matter what. This strength gives you the energy and the vibe that you're going to win it no matter what. So, yo, Alpha Man, know that you're worth it and know that you can work. While you decided to act, act, act. Don't think of what will happen only when you're acting. Just act and this Thing is just gonna come that will comfort you, encourage you, and help you to grow. That's it. Point number three. Point number three is unlocking your potential. You see, since you started going into work and trying to challenge your fears, since you're going there for your fears, I assure you, man, you're gonna unlock this potential. You're gonna discover something that you didn't even know. You're gonna know that you're so worth it. You're so powerful than you ever known, and you can know that you can kick out this ass of this fear in a way that you never thought you can kick it out. You can kick it so higher that you have never thought you can go that higher. So man, unlock your potential and know, know that by you challenging your fears, by you facing your fears head on, head on, you unlock this bigger potential that you are really worth it and you're really capable and you kill it because you are the killer of the kids of the fear because you're an alpha. And the final point that we're supposed to actually maybe to be number one is difficult choices. You know, whether we want it or not, us as humans, we have to make difficult choices now and then everywhere we go we have to make we have difficult choices we have to face and we have difficult choices we have to make and we have consequences that we have to live with all of our lives so imagine steve's consequences that he was gonna face if he had let his fears tackle him and freeze him and stop him from acting and going to save the stranger the girl that he thought was the stranger just imagine what he was going to live with all his life. He was going to live on regretting that he just got a kid and he was there and he was supposed to save him. So man, I have learned a little bit from this story and this from this story, I myself, I have learned that you need to take the challenge of whatever that comes in your face in that time. That is for you. The challenge that comes at that real present moment, that is for you. There's nothing like, no, I can't do this when it comes for you, man. That means you're ready. If it comes for you, that means you can really tackle it. So, man, 
in the final part. If you have made it to this part of the video, I want you to give me one big like, put a like man, put give us a subscribe there if you are new to the channel, put a notification so that you don't miss any of these videos. Two of them come each and every week for you, Tuesday and Friday, and I don't want you to miss them because it's two free videos coming your way on getting the alpha male experience and we're adding more videos that are going to be coming, so stay tuned because there's more to come. So man, this is what I've left, this is what I want to give you, I want to leave you with one important thing that the court that I want you to go with, it was coming from Sis Boucher. Sis Boucher once said that we are all like tea bags. We don't know our real strength until we are in hot water. So man, like Steve, when he trouble came, that's when he saw it there. Yeah, he's capable of fighting as well. So man, never limit yourself. And I want you to know that you're one of those amazing alphas and you're one of those amazing alphas. And yo bro, like, did you like, Make sure you share, you share, and subscribe, you subscribe, put a notification so that you don't miss it, right? So, my name is Mas, and I'm leaving you today, guys, and make sure that I want you to always be awesome, always be amazing, and always be kind wherever you go, because kindness will make great men for the future. But that's for me for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you on the next video.